Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video we will be taking a look at how you can create your very own simple 5M script. This is going to be aimed for beginners although it might be useful if you haven't really scripted in 5M yet and although you do have some knowledge in Lua maybe, I don't know, but yeah it would be try to aim it to beginners. So yeah, what you will need is a Visual Studio Code or some other text editor. I would recommend Visual Studio Code, although you can use Atom and there is Notepad++. I really dislike that one, but yeah, there's lots of them. Just search up Code Editor. Um, I will be not be going over how to set up a server. Uh, you will have to do that yourself. I might do that in future. But if you haven't already, then just search it up on Google or YouTube how to set up your very own server and then come back to this video after that. So basically, I have set up my server right here, I have the resources map, this is all the scripts, just a random QB core server I made a while back. And yeah, I'm just going to use this to test my stuff. So let's just start by making a completely new folder. You can name this whatever you want, as long as it doesn't have spaces. And I'm quite sure you can't really use some special characters like Swedish letters and stuff like that. Let's do normal characters. Let's just name it like first script ever. It's gonna spell it really weird to show you guys that it works. So what we'll need here is a file that basically tells our server which files it wants to open. So we will start by making that file. It's called, it has to be called fxmanifest.lua. In some older scripts you might see it called underscore underscore resource.lua, but I would not recommend that because it's outdated and should not be used so what you start out with is defining the fx version and the newest one is ceruline so just use that one and then game et5 because that's what 5m is based on and that basically just tells our server what how to read this basically and then we will probably want to create some more files like a client file that should be enough for this example but if you need any other files then just server script like if you would have server script then you would put that one in here oh. and if you would have more scripts you can make a table of it or a list of them and you can have multiple ones in here Etc. But we will not be using server scripts in this tutorial, we will simply be using one client script and that's basically it. So our server will just read this fx version serine, yeah, game okay, etf5, yeah that looks good and then we'll just run our client script. So let's actually put some stuff in our client script. Most scripts use what's called natives. So you can search up 5M natives. I think it's docs.5m.net. Otherwise just search up 5M natives. And here. This is basically a database of all the functions that 5M has. You can do anything with these. So let's say I would want to give armor to my player. You can search up armor. Set pet armor. Could easily change your armor etc but that's not what we're going to be doing right now but that's just an example of how you can um, find stuff that you might be looking for um, so what we're going to be doing is actually registering a command that you can use in the chat that takes a command name handler and then restricted 
then they have an example for this one have a Lua and C Sharp example you can see that it get, can be used on the server side or client side because otherwise it would disappear and you can see the different languages here but we're going to be doing it in Lua so let's just click Lua and then all so that's basically how we register a command I'm going to be showing exactly how you use it right now um, first off we want to create a thread because this is basically just creating a new thread but if you don't do this you can't use functions from this list so we need to create a thread actually otherwise it won't work so then just let's do register command then let's input the command name let's do like first script maybe then a handler that's a func slash function so let's do a function and then restricted that's optional quite sure yeah that's optional just that if this would be true you would need a specific permission to use this command and basically this is how you register the command now anything you put in here will be executed once you use this command so I will be joining our test server to just test this out yeah so your server will probably not look like this because if you have a fully blank server then it will just be nothing you spawn at a ran random location and then you will just have nothing basically but since I actually have a dev server with some basic stuff on it might look different but it will still work the same so right now we can't really use our command if I would do first script it would do nothing so let's actually add something let's make it print something printing basically just shows a message in the console to actually start the script you will have to open the server config server config and then do start and then the script name which was first script ever so first script ever and then you restart the server and the script will be started but if you do not want to restart the server still put it in there but you can do slash refresh and then slash dot first script ever oh shit spelled it wrong there then it you start it normally just as restarting the server and if you don't have permission for this then do it in the server console without the slash or in tx admin if you have that set up all those three options no four options actually work as good i would recommend all of them and now if we try first script you can see that every time we do it prints yes you can also do it in here but without the slash you can see that it works so what do we we actually wanted it to do something let's say we wanted it to set our health to zero basically you can search up set health Or I think it's set pet health, set pet player health maybe, or shit, player health, set entity health, yeah sorry, so yeah you can see that male health, male pets have 100 to 200 health and female pets have 0 to 100, so basically we just have to set our health to 0 and you can see that it takes an entity and then health health would be the number so 1 to 200 for male pets and then 0 to 100 for female pets and pets is basically just a character my character is very messed up right now but that doesn't really matter so let's just do set entity health and then we will need our entity so how you get entity is through get player pet is probably the easiest version there is some other ways but this is probably the way you're going to do in the start 
so you can do get player head and then you can either insert an id of the player i can check right now my id is one the id might not be the same on the client side as the server side so i would not recommend doing that but since we're just going to change our own pad there is a way to get that one easily it's just minus one that's the local player slash yourself then just let's just do seal and see if it works first script ever you can do ensure and then a script name or restart both of them do the same thing basically so let's try first script you can see that i died it's as simple as that let's say i wanted to what would i want to do like invisible i think that's possible is it entity locally in this one yeah so this is basically just locally so it will still be visible to other places so same argument first argument but it doesn't take a second argument so set entity local or visible invisible i'm going to guess that it takes any entity like you could input a car or anything like that should probably work oh shit yeah we should probably set entity response instead so because this i think the other function can't be changed like if you make yourself invisible you can't get it back okay that's weird um, let's see make that to the visible current please yeah we might might actually need both of them i don't know let's just try the first one can you just play around with it oh shit oh yeah that's right we would probably have to do why to do this is basically just an infinite loop because if you see now it becomes invisible for like a millisecond so we just need to make sure that we have a loop running which makes it invisible i would not do it this way but this is a really simple way why i wouldn't do this is because if you execute this um command multiple times it will just make another loop another one and so on but this should work and why we add sits on that weight is because we do not want to crash the game if we do not have a weight then it will just loop too fast and crash your game you can see that it works and if we stop it stop the script or restart it or anything like that it will stop so let's see if we could actually do the same with this function set entity visible instead of set entity local invisible oh shit forgot to restart it no that does not actually work the same way okay that's fine but yeah you can basically just play around with anything get pet armor we can print armor so let's just remove that let's print oh shit get player pad shit yeah i have some pre-made functions so to make it easy to read i could make it this way i would not recommend program like this because it looks really ugly but i just wanted to show these parent parents i don't know what to call it but i just wanted to show them easily so that's basically why we have three of them because this one and that one are for the same thing and then these two and then those so basically if we wouldn't have any spaces it would be three ones at the end you can see that we have zero armor and yeah that is right because i have zero armor but yeah you can just play around with the natives and do whatever you want um, if you have any suggestions for what type of scripts you want to see me explain or anything really then just comment it and i will probably do it otherwise i will just continue with the series normally and just do some simple stuff and then just make it more advanced and more advanced 
I hope you guys liked the video and if you did then please subscribe and like and yeah bye guys Something is inside my way I look at the sky